again. I'm glad y'all came in today. The topic of the day was distractions. And I hope y'all go into the week with no distractions because distractions detour you away from the destination that God has for you. And um, I want to tell y'all a quick story, man, um, about distractions. Um, my dad, you know, one thing about life, you got to learn to really look at other people's lives and know what not to do and what to do. Uh, my dad, he always wanted to start a church. But he never could start that church because he just had too many distractions in his life. Too many things pulling him this way and that way. And um, <laughs> when I was young, man, he had so many, so many just demons that he was fighting. You know, he would come in the house, bring four or five women in at a time. He'll tell me and my brother, hey, don't tell your mama this, but um, I'm going upstairs and I'm going to play with my friends. <laughs> and we didn't know no better because we had friends that we played with. So we thought he was going upstairs to, you know, play with his friends. <laughs> Boy, were we naive. <laughs> I mean, my daddy was something else. I mean, when we couldn't pay the light bill, when we couldn't pay the water bill, the rent, you know, he would make things shake. You know what I mean? He was a real house shaker. You know what I mean? I mean, he would go out. He would sell his drugs. He sold all type of drugs, pills, cocaine. Everything you can name, everything you can get on the street, my dad had it. <laughs> but, you know, he would come back and he would tell my mama, he would be like, hey, baby, God just blessed us. Um, I just did a scratch off and I hit big on the scratch off. You see how God works. And <laughs> my mama didn't know any better, but I knew. I knew because sometimes I play around with my toys and I find little, little bags of, of cocaine and I'd be like... <laughs> Where did this come from? This look like some sugar. <laughs> I thought it was sugar at the time. I didn't know no better. I was just a, a little boy. But now I know better. And um, <laughs> moral of the story is, you know, when you have distractions, you really can't do what God destined for you to do. 